This is my new PC, and I saved the best part for you guys. Now not only was that very satisfying, but the great thing about a new computer is that it actually runs my editing software with without lagging. You see, for like the last two and a half years, I've been editing on a laptop. And don't get me wrong, the laptop could do it, but it wasn't happy editing. I was I was basically maxing out its capabilities and uh, yeah, it wasn't a lot of fun. And that's kind of what led me to getting a PC. Now I could make this video talking about specs and stuff, but let's be honest, that would, that would be boring. So I'm just gonna end up making this a boring video about how I got into building PCs and how I learned how to. Because being the somewhat cheapskate I am, I, I wasn't gonna pay like $150 for someone to pre-build a PC for me. I'd rather just try and figure it out on my own. How hard could it be? There's hundreds of videos on, on YouTube. And so that's exactly where I started. I started just looking up videos on YouTube because that's kind of how I got into keyboards. That's kind of how I learned a little bit about monitors. And that's when I stumbled across this YouTube channel called Jay's Two Cents. Now he's a pretty big channel and I'm sure at least some of you guys have already heard of him. But it was really helpful to watch his channel when you don't know anything about computers. Because although you are like thrown into the deep end and it's like all these technology, all these te technological words, English is hard. But yeah, all these technological words are thrown around and you don't really know what's going on. But to give you guys some reference on how much I know going into this, um, I knew what a case was. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I really didn't have any clue what any of the parts were. But after watching a bunch of these videos, I, I you know, I finally figured it out. And I probably learned some stuff that I really don't need to know. I mean, I learned a lot about water cooling and latest generation stuff, which really doesn't help me because that's way outside of my price range. Like an RTX 4090 would, would be nice, but uh, yeah, I was, I was probably going to stick in the 30 series. I mean, I, I don't got two grand to waste waste on a graphics card. I don't have two grand, period. But I mean, along with the useless stuff, I learned a lot about basics that you need to know. How to put together a computer, different cases, what to look at in different cases. Jay's Two Cents does a lot of different things. They do case reviews, they do graphics card reviews, they do overclocking tutorials. It was really helpful for someone who didn't know what they're getting themselves into. And so with all this knowledge, I decided to go for it. I decided to start building the computer. Now first, I was going to need parts, and so I went to NZXT's website, which is a pre-built gaming PC manufacturer. Now I know I said I built my own computer, but just, just hang in with me. Since I was still kind of a computer noob, I decided it was probably safe to base my parts around pre-built computers I thought was a pretty smart idea, and it ended up being a pretty good idea. I got a pretty good idea of what parts I wanted in my computer, and you can find a whole spec sheet in the description. Yeah, I got a pretty good idea of what I wanted in my computer, and I just ordered them off Amazon. Turns out Amazon has like a lot of really good deals. They might not have it right now, but like two months ago was a really good time to look for parts, or at least in my opinion it was. Hey, hey, you're supposed to die. Thank you. They were selling graphics cards and motherboards for like $100 off, and while they were refurbished, which meant they were used, I thought that was a pretty good deal, because, you know, it's, that's like $200 saved, so I got the refurbished ones, because I, I am kind of cheap. But all in all, it was actually pretty easy to find all the parts I wanted, and within like two weeks, I had all the parts ready, and I was ready to build a computer, and it went about as good as that fight did. Okay, no, that's a lie. It actually went really smoothly. It took me like two nights to build, and for not knowing anything, I was surprised it went that smoothly. Like, I thought there was going to be some hiccups along the way, or like, maybe I bought the wrong parts. I was honestly a little worried that it wasn't going to work. But after just a few hours of building and watching a lot of computer videos, because let's face it, I, I still didn't know what I was doing, I was able to build a computer that ran. Sort of. You see, when I went to boot it up the first time, uh, it, it didn't do anything. It, like, turned on and turn itself back off, turn it turned back on, off, and it turned, turned itself on, back off. But after like, I don't know, three minutes of diagnosing the problem, I just had my memory in the wrong spot. And for all the problems I could have had, that was a great problem to have, because that was like a, a like a 30 second fix. It was it was great, it was fantastic. And after that, I haven't had any problems with my computer. It's, it's ran perfectly fine. And it's actually working right now. It's making editing this video a lot easier. Tell them about it, future me. Well, besides for the fact that this video is late, the computer's actually doing quite well. Yeah, yeah, you you heard them. It's, it's so great. Now, the strangest part of this entire experience is I've kind of turned into the peop the person that people come to to talk about computers. Like, this other day at school at lunch, I was just talking to this one kid who I would say I'm acquaintances with. He just randomly started talking about thinking about English is hard. He randomly just started talking about building his own computer. But he really didn't have any clue what he was doing. 
and luckily I I, I knew what, what what to do so I, you know I, I kind of sat him down and ha had the talk with him not that talk get your mind out of the gutters but yeah I just chatted to him about computers it was honestly really fun I kind of enjoy talking about computers I wouldn't categorize myself as like a techie because um, I don't want to categorize myself as a techie because I'd be admitting I have an addiction but I honestly might have an addiction to tech like, I, I really enjoyed building my computer, and for fun, I've honestly considered taking my computer apart and putting it back together again. It, it was a lot of fun. And, I mean, if you haven't seen my previous videos, you already know I'm addicted to keyboard. And th this is just another thing to add to the list of addictions, which I think it's a bad sign that my addictions are getting more and more expensive. That's a lot of stuff. I've honestly lost my train of thought, but uh, yeah, I'm just really enjoying, you know, the tech space. Even after I built my computer, I'm still watching a bunch of Jay's Two Cents videos because it's just fun. And recently, I've picked up monitor videos again because I got a new computer, you gotta use it to its full advantage. And right now I'm using my laptop as a monitor and you know what, it works. There's no bed there. It works, but maybe I want to look into getting another monitor, so... It may not be the best thing in the world to enjoy the tech space, but at least I'm having fun with it. And that's all that matters, I guess. I don't... There's not really a moral to the story. My final. Um, yeah, there's not really a moral to the story, but... If you want to see my addiction about keyboards, you should watch this video here, because, uh... Yeah. Keyboards. They're pretty fun.